If Texas is like heaven, will there be barbecue in heaven? Let's dig in. Welcome, Potluck Nuggets Nation, to another episode of your favorite Bible-centric food showdown, YouTube channel of all time. Thank you so much for joining us once again as we help you to determine what foods should be garnering your attention and which ones should be in food detention. Today, we blindly but boldly blunder and banter our way down the bountiful boulevard of barbecue sauce bliss. Indeed. So stay tuned as we determine which barbecue sauce is grocery store boss mm -hmm. and which is a total loss. It's the H-E-B Blind Barbecue Sauce Showdown mm. on Potluck Nuggets. Mm. Let's get to it. So welcome, welcome once again. Today, what we endeavor to do is blindly, we can see which barbecue sauces are on the list, but we don't know which one is in each container. So in that regard, blindly taste test some of the top barbecue sauces and then some of the just generic barbecue sauces in the grocery store aisle. As we stated in the beginning of the show, the grocery store of choice for us was HEB because we have a big, nice one, not too far from the studio with plenty of options. This yes. is Kilabasa um, brand name, just original sausage. We got some, uh, you'll see it in, the, in a close up later, but so you can see it's just kind of chopped up, thrown in the oven by my beautiful wife. Um, specifically, no seasoning, nothing on it, as bland as it can be, so that the sauce reigns supreme mm. in the taste test. How you feeling? Feeling good about barbecue sauce, brother. Because you picked a good show today. Nothing too hot, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, a little you know, break. My yeah. esophagus, esophagus is feeling yeah. better. My stomach's feeling better. I was going to say your esophagus isn't down, located that low, but... Well, wherever yeah, it is, where your hair come from? <laughs> Anyways, uh, probably from your head. Mm -hmm. Sporting a hat today. Looking looking good and wanting barbecue sauce and felt like a hat. Yeah. Good. So I apologize ahead of time if uh, the eye twitch is visible. I can't... You know, well, when your no eye, one can see your eye twitching. When your eyes not twitching. not anybody. You feel like it, like it's super noticeable because it's, it's in your vision, yeah. but a lot of times people can't see it. it. Producers should Google like what what causes the eye twitch. Already told can, no Toby sleep. says lack of sleep. You got twelve kids at home, bro. It sounds like an old wives' tale, but maybe that's it. No, that's I feel true. like it's got to have something to do with diet. True. But maybe uh, Romulus can look that up and tell us in a minute. Yes. So what we're gonna do is from uh, if I, unless I have this wrong, from left to right. We're going to go down the board Either that way. way. You want it. Doesn't matter. You got, got it set up, whatever. Okay, so let's do left to right, and we're going to we're gonna go two at a time and determine what's the best one out of those two. Then we're going to set that one up, and at the end, we'll see out of the four remaining who can go up against better than good well, Texas supposed be, barbecue supposed sauce. supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be one of the best, but really, because of the name, I mean, better than good, that's setting the bar pretty high. So we're going to see if there's anything up here that is – Better than good. Just like so, H-E-B. It's better than good. Yeah, yeah it's true. I H -E -B like H-E-B. H-E-B is amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started go with ahead. our little sword picks here. Ooh, oh, I got a, man. I got a double off. Hang it on, bro. On number one. Oh, I got rid of my other one. All right. You dip and then I'll dip. Actually, you might have to move it over for me a little bit. Can't reach that that right far. There. Go for it. So I think out of all the sauces, we can see them. You can't see them. You'll see them here in a minute. Um... The only one that I think for sure I'm going to put in my mouth and know what it is is A1. The rest of these, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to guess. Hey, bro. <laughs> Dude, man. You ready? Leave know. me hanging, bro. Damn. Bam. <laughs> All right. Dude, hey, how many, how many of these you going to have? You got to concentrate on how loud you're eating, man. Rami's got to do a lot of work with all that smacking. I snack it. I smack intentionally just to make Rami earn his keep and work around here. Stop playing video games for five minutes. Man, that's good. I didn't even have to guess, but just bring the next one over and we'll see which one we like better. Okay. That was and then Rami will tell us what we were eating. Just tastes like good, good barbecue sauce. Nothing. It was pretty good. Too, oh wow. Too crazy. crazy. But I liked it. I, I did like it. I don't like this. I want to say that that was the Havana. I'm hoping that was the Havana. Oh, this was, is thick, bro. What thick. is this? Got cheese in it? <laughs> you already got yours on it? It's much thicker. Bam. Um, all right. I have made a decision. Numero uno. You guys, I'll, I'll agree with you. you I think agree? one barely right. beats it. 
This one's not quite as good. All right, so set them, set it back up there, and then Rami will tell us what we taste. But they're both good. What was number one, Mr. So the producer? The first one I had was Havana. Yes, actually guessed it. Will you grab it and put it in front of it, Havana? <laughs> this one you don't have to grab because this one's a loser. What was the second one? Uh, Heinz. You nailed them both. I told you it was a cheap one. Just listen to me from now on. Huh? <laughs> no, that one. Go. Just keep it over there because we don't want to. Only the winners get oh, okay. the. Should I throw this on get the, the FaceTime? Uh, <laughs> no, please don't. So, boom. This is our numero uno. Should I get rid of that? And, yeah, no, we'll just move it back a little bit. That's okay. the loser. All right. All right. Uh, let's go number my palette with my pop three and four nuggets. mug. Bro, you need to start guessing These because awesome. I guessed and I got them both right. And now the people are going to be way more impressed with me than you. So you got to well, you, you got to catch up, bro. You got to start guessing. So gotta, that's good. I got to catch up. Oh, I get what you're saying. All right. Okay, we'll try this one here. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. How many are you're gonna connected get here, more bro? More than sauce for sure. Okay. Now that <clears throat> this one or the next one's gonna be a one. I can tell by the color. I want to smell it. Wow. Here's the thing. Got like a vinegar kind of thing in it. I've never had that HCB traditional, so this is either a one or HCB traditional. All right, let's go. The, let's go to the next one. Okay. Yep. Bam. Oh, you do that to me. All right. Don't you agree? This is way better. I don't agree. No? Mm -mm. Come on, bro. I can't do it. A1 is so nostalgic. Oh. I love A1. Love A1 sauce. Mm. This is better. This is better, bro. You're way sold on that? Yeah. 100%? Dude. Dude, all right. Well, you I'm let, me, you let me have the first one, so maybe I'll let you yeah. have this one. But I would have gone A1. Come on, bro. Just so y'all know. Anyway, so all of that to say, I'm A1 fan, but I'm going to let you have this one. I'm going to say that that's... What do you think that is, man? Because I kind of went your direction on the other one. So. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what Give I'm me saying. this one, bro. I think that's either. What was number three, bro? No, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, number three, that would be the A1. A1, and then you said this one's 100%. the HEB. Okay, so that was A1. I'm going to either go HEB or 816. What do you think? I'm going to say 816 on that one and A1 on that one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, that's A1 for sure. I'm going to go... I wanted the A16 to be better than that, but the, honestly, it's it's a KC masterpiece. So I don't know why. It's just the packaging makes it. I'm, I want it to be better. I'm gonna go HEB on that one. What is it? A16. A16. No, okay. Throw it up there, man. Bro. A16 is and in the, the other game. The one was A1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We nailed that one, bro. Go for it. And so we're gonna move it out of here. Bam, bam, loser. Next we have. This guy versus this guy. Okay. All right. You ready? Stab it in there, man. Bro. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's another thick one. Very thick. I, I kind of, I'm going more towards, hey, man. <laughs> it's a good stab. All right. Cheers. Going more towards Boom. the thick ones here. Bam. I'm kind of back and forth between is this cheap Pretty good, or is brother. this good? <laughs> hmm. It's hard to determine. I just don't want to get duped by Kraft Original. Blow. All right. Next. Oh. My eyes twitching like mad. Did you look that up yet? Yeah. What is going actually. on? What's going on with it my eyes, bro? It's caused by uh, too much alcohol intake. <laughs> well, <laughs> must be from all the but medicine. It also could be a bright light, caffeine excess, fatigue, irritation of the eye surface fatigue, or air. Fatigue, low sleep. Smoking, stress, or wind or air pollution. So fatigue and high caffeine, those both describe me. We're talking and I'm eating this barbecue sauce and I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I'll try to tell you what, if I can stop eating and talking at the same time. I didn't even notice it. It made no impact on me while I was talking. It's very forgettable. What do you think? Craft. Which one do you like better, bro? This one. First one. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is Craft, the loser. Okay. And this, gosh, I kind of like this. This might be Stubbs. I'm gonna go Stubbs and Craft. What are you gonna? What are you gonna go? I'll go the same. I'll Stubbs and Craft. Where are we at? It is Stubbs and Craft, but reverse. Craft is the winner. Craft is the winner. Oh, yeah. Stubbs, come on! What are you doing to me? Uh, Stubbs, you're supposed Craft to be better than that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Get Craft that nasty win. packaging up here. I knew I was going to get duped by them. Look at that. <laughs> that might be the only thing worse than the Heinz 57 is this Craft Original. What do they even have? It's like they're 
Bro. It's barbecue sauce dip, and I'm pretty sure they have a like a turkey loaf on the. What is that? What's what turkey? is that meat? It's like turkey, but it's what not even it? a real part of the turkey. It's like some kind of loaf of turkey. Okay. What are we got, bro? Last two. This guy and this guy. Go ahead. You ready? No, you go ahead. No, here, I got you. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. You just took oh, that no. one off of too far. Oh, I got double blessing. There you go. All right, you ready? Go ahead, brother. This oh, eye is big, driving me bro. insane. Thick and juicy. So we haven't had Damn. Sweet Baby Ray's or HEV yet. Oddly, I don't know when this happened. But Sweet Baby Ray's for years, go to the grocery store and get it. Yep. And it had like a certificate on it, like award-winning best in show this ever. good stuff, bro. And then all of a sudden, this time I went to get it from the store, and that's no longer on there. I don't know if they lost their position or whatever. Lost but they were like number one lost a reward, in some category for a long time. This is pretty good. Run-of-the-mill barbecue sauce. Yeah. Pretty good. Let me try the other one. Yeah. Can't wait. Go for it. Can't wait to get in on this, this, this bad boy thinner. and see if it blows them away or not. Yeah, true. That one should be unique, too. Yeah. All right. Boom. Bam. Vinegar. Oh, man. I just like the vinegar. I like the way that yeah. makes your mouth Which look. one do you want to go for? Mm-hmm. Sweet baby rays, man. You think so? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go H-E-B because we already have. You know what? This is our show. We do whatever we want. Yeah. So... H-E-B, and now we'll move this out and put Sweet Baby, because this is crap compared to Sweet Baby Ray's. Mm -hmm. Here, put Sweet Baby Ray's up there. I agree. I'm kicking you out because your packaging's horrible. You fooled us. Yeah. This is better. It's like Rami made that package. And then the H-E-B. This is the last one that we tasted H-E-B? Yeah. Okay. So we're We're right right. on those. Okay. Okay. I like being right. So these are our four... Craft, I'm sorry, you just you wouldn't have won anyway. <clears throat> These are our four finalists. Yeah. So quickly, craft tastes like craft. Let's uh, here put all the losers over there. Loser, loser, loser. And let's just taste real quickly the winners. Okay. And see who we're gonna put up against. Better than good. Are we gonna taste that one first? No. Okay. No, this is the chance. This is the default so uh, one little gold sausage. standard, even though we have no reason to call it the gold standard. One little sausage. <clears throat> yeah, Man, that was tiny. I can't even taste that. It's just oh, I got two. Okay, bro. All right, ready? Let's see. This one. So these four, one of them we will be a one. winner against mm-hmm. the one that we think is the best. Yeah. The one that says Bam. It's the best. You know, what, you know what's so cool about that for me? Is it's like right when it's getting real good, it goes away, mm-hmm. and then you want more. Like I need more. <laughs> yeah. Again, it ended too quick. I give uh, hats off to KC Masterpiece for coming up with a better packaging, and I think a pretty decent taste. But which one do you like better, uh, Havana? This one, yeah, for sure. A little bit better. So now Havana against so, Sweet Baby Ray's. Really? I'm going Havana though. I like the Havana better than this. Yeah, I like that one better, bro. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Unless you give me five dollars, then I would like this one better. <laughs> I can well, here, just wait. <laughs> Let's just take the H E B out. I know you don't like the vinegar. Okay. So I know that's gonna lose anyway. <clears throat> so to come down to the champion, we can't waste too much time. We gotta pick one of these. Get a lot of sauce on that one, man. Okay, bro. Sauce it up. You know what's doing them a disservice? Mm. Is how thin it is. I think if it was as thick as Sweet Baby Ray's, it'd be no contest. But you can't get enough on there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Mr. One Producer. Sticks on it a little bit better. Do you think there's any way you can find two plastic spoons where you just eat a spoonful yeah. to determine? And we're back with spoons Spoons. to determine. This is getting serious. Sausage <laughs> is not enough to determine a champion. So I'm going to get me a spoonful. You get you a spoonful. Mm-hmm. And this might seem gross to some people, but this is what we do. We do this so you don't have to, although I'm actually kind of excited about it. You ready? I could drink that. It's good. I could drink that with a straw and be happy. If somebody put that in front of me and said this is a modern-day mocktail, it's good. good for you. It's better without the sausage. Like a version of Bloody Amazing. Mary or something. Mm, that Havana was good. All right, here we go. That's not good by itself. 
Mm-hmm. This one's better by itself. Mm-hmm. That one's just straight up good mm-hmm. sauce, no matter what you do. It's just not thick enough. But that's the winner. I, I'm going to agree be right. with you because you're going to give me $5. <laughs> uh, when you taste it like that, yeah, he's right. It's a little bit better. All right. So now, now we got a big boy coming. We have the two Titans, Better Than Good and Havana Knights. Oh, two. All right. Bam. Oh, oh, sorry. I dripped all over you. <laughs> Ooh, that is unique. That's like the uh, that's the vinegar brown sugar mix. That's a little bit of both worlds. It's different than all of them. It does taste different mm-hmm. than all of them. It, does. And it tastes better as it as you eat it than it does the very first little bite. I gotta have more. We did right by putting this one up last. Yeah, that's good. Oh, um, man. That's bro, so I'm hard. Gonna, I'm going Havana, bro. Are you? I'm yeah. kind of leaning Havana, too. I'm going to do the... Uh, Havana's like really perfect if you do out of all of them. Yeah. It's got everything. It does. I'm going to do this. Really, really good. Doop. Dude. <laughs> well, we get gross now. Havana's better straight up. That's not bad straight up, though. Baby Sweet Baby Ray's was not yeah. good. That's all right. But I couldn't drink it. I could drink the Havana. No, Havana is amazing. So we agree. I think this is the, the champion. champion of all of the barbecue Clowned. sauces in the supermarket aisle. The only one that had is a little, Ernest Hemingway's little Havana, Havana barbecue sauce. The best. The best. So if we were going to be your guides, yep. we would tell you. Grab a jar of Ernest Hemingway's Havana. Yeah. Grab a jar of Better Than Good, but you probably can't get it unless you're in Texas or have HEB by you because that's a Texas. It might have made it into it. It should make it into other states. A1 is always a classic in my mind. Uh, Stubbs, I'm surprised. Maybe don't waste your money. on it. I like the idea. Well, Stubbs has a lot of other sauces than just the original. So Sweet Baby Ray's. I like Sweet Baby Ray's. <clears throat> it's good on meat. That was, that it's was not good, good as a drink. So no. if you're if you're trying to find the best barbecue sauce to drink, to drink, just yeah. stick a straw in it and drink it while you're while you're smoking your brisket. Yeah, not sweet baby bread. Yeah, no, no. but definitely Havana. High fifty seven. Forget about it. Yeah. Casey masterpiece. Forget about it. Yeah. Craft. Uh, wow, you did fool us. I think that stands for witchcraft. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Oh, so you did. You did fool us. Mm-hmm. But I'd do a hard pass. Hard pass on the craft. Um, these two, for sure, always, if you're A1, you either love it or hate it. If you love it, you know, keep eating it. That'd be about it, man. That'd be my three. Yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's I throw in there. Oh, those are running a little bit. Something Good stuff, man. Kick in there. Good stuff. So yeah, yeah. that is yeah. all for our barbecue tasting showdown, Havana Nights. Yep. And for the question, um, heaven and Texas seem to be so much alike. So is there barbecue in heaven? Because there's plenty of barbecue in Texas. And you might want to say right off the bat, of course, there's not barbecue in heaven because all we have are clouds and harps and hopefully some wings and all of that is false. We by no means. And my little dog. <laughs> by no means do we necessarily have wings. I would be surprised if we did. Um, I don't know where the floating on clouds concept came from, but that's not something you have to I worry about. I think it was about. a cartoon I saw a long time ago. Yeah, but I'll tell you, like I said, ironically on Sunday, because we weren't planning on this, but yep. it did come up on Sunday. Like, if we have clouds, then why the wings? And if we have wings, then why the clouds? We, yeah, don't, we don't need, need two modes don't need of both. transportation that yeah. are both flying. And then as far as harps go, that'd be cool for like three minutes. Then we'd be tired of it. That's not very heavenly. But what we do know in accordance with the Bible is that heaven is a fantastic place. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. Uh, neither has it entered into the heart of man. What God has prepared for those who love him, which means the greatest and grandest imaginations of all time. Mm. From J.R.R. Tolkien uh, to all the creators of the Marvel universes and DC and all the crazy stuff you've Disney. seen or Don't Disney, Disney in there. all of that. All of the great imagination can't even begin to approach Mm -hmm. what God is actually preparing for us. Disney took a few years to build and open and then multiple years after that to improve. This has been a work in progress for like 6,000 years. And and the construct, the GC, the general contractor is Yahweh. Mm. So come on, give me a break. And the construction workers are angels. This is going to be insane. Mm -hmm. 
going to be amazing. And according to the Bible, plenty of food. Seven major feasts a year, not to mm-hmm. mention what goes on in the in-between. Mm-hmm. Um, but God gave us examples in the Old Testament and said, this is like what's going on in heaven. Mm-hmm. And he commanded the sacrifice system, which we just think are people killing animals and thinking that they're going to be saved from their sin. But it was more than that. It was a block party. It was a barbecue. There was fire involved. They cooked the meat. They st- they stuck around. They ate. And there was absolutely barbecue gatherings mm-hmm. in the Bible. And there shall be barbecue in heaven. And if I had my druthers, as they say, yeah. I'm sure the angels can come up with something better. But in case they're too busy, let's go ahead and bring a few bottles of this. Yeah. Because Hell this on. makes I'm barbecue bring my stomach to better. Too, yeah, right? absolutely. It'll be a little flatter. Absolutely. I'm bringing so, it. Join us in Off Menu Bible. Hit the link in the description as we go dive, uh, dive a little bit deeper into the barbecue yeah, uh, gatherings and get-togethers stuff. in the Bible and also what we can expect in heaven. Uh, centered around uh, something really a little bit more... Um, detail than just getting together for a barbecue, but a specific thing I want to talk about called the sacrifice of the red heifer, which is very barbecuish in nature. Mm. So join us there. But for here, please uh, hit the button to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, comment down below. We do random giveaways, but we need to see your name for you to be entered. And we hope to see you next week for yet another episode. We got potluck nuggets. Join us. Thank you guys. We love y'all. All All right. God bless. See you on the link. Bam. I don't know, but that's how. When somebody told me it's like an insult to put steak sauce on a steak, I'm like, the point of steak is steak sauce. Like, this is just how I get the A1 to my mouth. That's all that steak is. Or pork chops, man. Our pork chops are like, you could play hockey.